If you're curious about the upcoming developments regarding GBT5, this video will provide you with a wealth of information. OpenAI's CEO shared some intriguing insights during a recent interview as depicted in this article. After we finished training GPT-4, we waited more than six months to deploy it. Um, we are not currently training what will be GPT-5. We don't have plans to do it in the next six months. It has been confirmed by the CEO that GPT-5 is currently not undergoing training and will not be for the foreseeable future. Let's delve into the video clip that has surfaced online where she elaborates on the precise methods employed to train GPT-4 and the anticipated timeline for GPT-5's release. Within an earlier version of the letter, the CEO of OpenAI alludes to the fact that they are currently not engaged in training GPT-5 and will remain in this state for a substantial period. Hence, it seems somewhat imprudent to discuss it extensively. However, the CEO highlights that they are engaged in various other activities alongside GPT-4, which encompass significant safety concerns that demand attention. A law here, we can predictably say this much compute, this big of a neural network, this training data, um, this will be the capabilities of the model. Now, we can predict how it will score on some tests what we're really interested in, which gets to the la latter part of your question, is can we predict the sort of, the qualitative new things, just the new capabilities that didn't exist at all in GPT-4, that do exist in future versions like GPT-5? Um, that seems important to figure out. But right now, we can say, you know, here's how we predict it'll do on this eval or this metric. These aspects were overlooked in the letter. Thus, it is crucial to proceed cautiously, intensifying our focus on safety issues. In my opinion, addressing these concerns through means other than a letter would be more optimal. In the aforementioned interview, OpenAI's CEO, Sam Altman, openly discusses the role GPT-5 will play in the next phase of AI evolution. He emphasizes the importance of ensuring the safe release of this AI, which has prompted a recent letter titled Paul's Giant AI Experiments, urging all labs to halt training AI systems more advanced than GPT-4 for a minimum of six months. The letter has garnered approximately 27,000 signatures as of now, gaining the attention of world leaders and policymakers due to endorsements from influential figures like Elon Musk. Their concern stems from the potential dangers associated with GPT-5 if adequate protocols are not in place before its release. This explains the rationale behind the call for an AI pause. As we now know, Sam Altman has responded by stating that GPT-5 is currently not undergoing training and won't be for quite some time time. It is worth noting that the letter calls for an immediate six-month pause on training AI systems more powerful than GPT-4. However, it's important to acknowledge that many individuals are still catching up to GPT-4, which hasn't been fully implemented yet. Notable features, such as the larger token size window and the visual multi-model feature teased in the upcoming trailer, are still missing. Furthermore, there is an intriguing development from Google that will impact the training of GPT-5, but we will discuss that later later in the video. Sam Altman also shared additional insights about GPT-5 and the letter on Twitter. He expressed agreement with one particular aspect of the pause letter, emphasizing that OpenAI should create a comprehensive alignment dataset and alignment evaluations, which should be made publicly available. This would enable other companies to utilize these resources to ensure the safe release of their own AI systems. Addressing AI safety is crucial, as failure to do so could have irreversible consequences, making containment challenging, as some have described it. Another notable figure extensively discussed GPT-4 and GPT-5, specifically focusing on training times and methodologies. He emphasized the underlying spirit present in many debates surrounding AI development. GPT-5, in terms of training duration, is guided by the understanding that safety and caution are paramount. OpenAI's primary mission revolves around taking safety seriously. They dedicated over six months to thoroughly test and enhance GPT-4, incorporating years of alignment research to anticipate the emergence of models like GPT-4. This emphasis on safety arises from the recognition that newer AI tools possess unknown potential and may exhibit emergent abilities wherein certain capabilities spontaneously manifest due to the scale and complexity of large language models. These abilities are not explicitly programmed but arise unpredictably. 
Two intriguing videos shed light on the potential dangers associated with emergent abilities. By comprehending the examples presented, it becomes evident why a pause in GPD-5 development may be necessary. Ensuring the complete safety of these models is crucial, especially considering their utilization in software applications such as ChatGBT and various API tools. An emergent ability refers to a characteristic or skill that spontaneously emerges from within a system's interactions and complexities rather than being explicitly designed or programmed into it. Consider the following examples. Two different models, GPT and another model by Google, exhibit no differences other than their increasing parameter size. Initially, when prompted to perform arithmetic, they fail. However, at a certain point, they abruptly gain the ability to execute arithmetic operations. The time the timing of this transformation cannot be predicted. Similarly, training these models on the entire internet for English question answering and then expanding the model size unexpectedly enables them to respond to questions in Persian. Uh, there are a lot of things about coding that I think are a particularly great modality to train these models on. Um, but that won't be, of course, the last thing we train on. I'm very excited to see what happens when we can really do video. Yeah. There's a lot of video content in the world. There's a lot of things that are, I think, much easier to learn with video than text. There's a huge debate in the field about whether a language model can get all the way to AGI. Can you represent everything that you need to know in language? Is language sufficient, or do you have to have video? I personally think it's a dumb question, because it probably is possible, but the fastest way to get there, the easiest way to get there, will be to have these other representations like video in these models as well. Uh, again, like text is not the best for everything, even if it's capable of representing everything. The reasons behind such shifts remain unknown. These instances raise concerns for AI creators and regulators alike. Creating GPT-5 with unanticipated abilities poses significant challenges. Some of these abilities may not be realized until months or even years later, as exemplified by the discovery of theory of mind in GBT-4. Here's another example. So AI developing theory of mind. Theory of mind is the ability to like model what somebody else is thinking. It's what enables strategic thinking. Um, so uh, in 2018, uh, GPT had no theory of mind. In 2019, barely any theory of mind. Uh, in 2020, it starts to develop the, like, the strategy level of a four-year-old. By 2022, January, it's developed the strategy level of a seven-year-old. And by November of last year, it's developed almost the strategy level of a nine-year-old. Now here's the really creepy thing. We only discovered that AI had grown this capability last month. For instance, in a recent interview, the CEO of Google discussed how their AI learned an ability that was not explicitly coded into it. Regulating AI becomes a critical consideration as we venture into the unknown territory of rapidly advancing technology. In the context of GBT4, other companies like Google strive to surpass ChatGBT and GBT4 by investing billions in smaller companies with large language models. For instance, they are injecting millions into a bot named Claude next, which exhibits remarkable capabilities and comes close to ChatGBT. Their ultimate goal is to create an AI that is 10 times more powerful than GPT-4 within 18 months. This escalation in the AI race indicates that companies are eager to release software quickly. Many companies are rushing to release software, even if it may not be fully prepared, in a race to dominate the future. Sam Altman highlights the importance of certain factors for a positive AGI, artificial general intelligence, future. One key aspect is the technical capability to align a superintelligence. This is crucial because a superintelligence system is likely to have goals beyond our comprehension, making it a pivotal moment for us. Additionally, an effective global regulatory framework and democratic governance are vital to ensure the safe development of AI. Considering these points, one may wonder if GPT-5 will arrive sooner due to Google's increased investments in other companies, or if there will be a slowdown in AI product releases. It's worth mentioning that GPT-5 will be released incrementally, with subsequent updates introduced every month or couple of months. This approach aims to address safety concerns and continuously improve the AI model, avoiding potential issues that could arise from a single large-scale rollout. This incremental release strategy represents a positive change. In conclusion, the CEO of OpenAI acknowledges that while they are not currently training GPT-5, they are actively engaged in various activities concerning GPT-5 
1994 and its significant safety concerns. A recent letter, supported by influential figures like Elon Musk, calls for a six-month pause on training AI systems more advanced than GPT-4 to address potential dangers associated with GPT-5's release. OpenAI recognizes the need to proceed cautiously and intensify their focus on safety issues, suggesting that addressing these concerns through means other than a letter would be more effective. Furthermore, Sam Altman, OpenAI's CEO, emphasizes the importance of creating a comprehensive alignment dataset and alignment evaluations that are publicly accessible. This would enable other companies to ensure the safe release of their AI systems, considering the irreversible consequences that could arise from neglecting AI safety. The discussion on GPT-4 and GPT-5 also brings attention to the unpredictable nature of emergent abilities, which arise spontaneously within large language models. These abilities not explicitly programmed underscore the need for rigorous safety measures and regulation in the rapidly advancing field of AI. In the race for AI dominance, companies like Google are investing heavily in smaller companies with large language models, indicating a growing competition. However, OpenAI's incremental release strategy for GPT-5 demonstrates a commitment to addressing safety concerns and continuously enhancing the AI model. This approach, combined with the establishment of a global regulatory framework and democratic governance, aligns with the goal of ensuring the safe development and deployment of AI technologies. As we we navigate the path towards AGI, it is crucial to prioritize safety, align superintelligence, and establish a regulatory framework that fosters responsible AI innovation. The conversation surrounding GPT-5 highlights the complex challenges and potential risks associated with developing advanced AI systems. By approaching these issues with caution and dedicating resources to address safety concerns, we can pave the way for a future where AI technologies benefit humanity while minimizing potential risks.